Hi, my name is Dr Penny Hyde and I live and work in the northeast of England as a doctor. Earlier this year I was able to um, go out with BMS World Mission on short term mission to Chad and the reason I went was because I was actually inspired by my daughter um, who had a couple of years ago gone on action team to a West African country with a number of other girls to do some teaching and this got me thinking when I had some time extra for holidays to as to whether I could take some sabbatical and time out myself and perhaps uh, go out with BMS World Mission. Thankfully after talking with BMS World Mission they agreed that they um, would happily send me off to Chad for a couple of months earlier this year. I was able to join the long-term team that are working at Guinea Ball Hospital, um, which was a great privilege. Guinea Ball 2 Hospital, in the outskirts of N'Djamena, the capital of Chad, is doing an amazing work there, offering surgery and medical and maternity care to the local and distant population of Chad often seeing patients travel for many miles because of the hospital's good reputation in the country. It is a privilege to see what the team are doing there, from doctors and nurses, other clinicians, midwives, surgical teams, physios, down to those who are doing the test results and x-rays, and down to those who are just screening at the door and taking temperatures. The whole team works together as amazing, amazingly to provide a service to the, the people of Chad. I suppose some of the things that impacted on me when I went there was the fact that not only are they giving good health care to those people, but they are bathing the day in prayer. The day starts with prayer, where the staff come together to worship and to pray and to think about the needs of the hospital for that day. And perhaps particularly to talk about and pray for specific patients who are in great need. Once a week, the, the team go on the wards and actually pray on the wards with patients and offer prayer. And very rarely do patients refuse. Another impact was the reality of death. That's common in hospital, but in a place like Chad it's almost accepted that death is part of life and that it, there is almost little grieving when it happens because it's so accepted. And it's not uncommon for women to have many children and to have lost two or three for many reasons, poor health care, poor maternity care, or perhaps just malnutrition. What the hospital is trying to do is to improve that maternity care, to improve child welfare with immunisation programme, but also when the children come through for other diseases, to impress upon parents how important it is to care for them. And one of the team that comes along through to the hospital is a paediatrician, and his impact on the hospital is immense. So the hospital, in having a good reputation, shows that the hospital wants to care for people. And as I say, many people can come from miles around to get treatment. And they are well known in that area. I think I've learned a lot from being there from just three months, having experienced different type of medicine, but also having worked along with a team that care for patients and is Christ-centred in their care. And I would recommend to you, I know you're probably not a medic, but perhaps whatever skill or job that you do, that perhaps you could think about giving some time to BMS yourself. Think about it and pray about it. And if, think, if you think that's you, then go and speak with someone. Go and speak with a leader in your church or perhaps even speak with BMS and explore it further. If you're a young person, think about Action Team. It's a fabulous opportunity to take a year out and to go somewhere else in the world 
and find out what God could be leading you into.